And yeah, and this is my email. You can also contact me on email, jamalxcc at hotmail.com, jamalcfa at dhu.edu.cn, or you can send me a private message or you can send me a group message on our group, okay? I would encourage if you, if this is course related, some questions, so please do post in our group so that others can also uh, learn or if others have the same question, so it, it's easy for me to answer on all on the same on, on or just one time for the same question. Okay, so I would encourage if you still did not, uh, you know, add me on WeChat, please do add me. So this is tentative plan. Uh, we would be having our midterm on sixth week, and then we would be having our final on sixteen week. So they're going to be total eight assignments. Right, so generally after every uh, chapter, we would be having our assignment, right? Back to our PPT. So any question? No. So ready for the injection of knowledge, right? Let's just talk about that. So, okay, book, I already told you, just go through that. So, so I have designed this course, not only I would be showing you some videos because I do miss that. In our live lecture, I always show some videos and some you know, motivational videos, subject related videos. So this time I included the subject related videos, how the managerial accounting stuffs are actually applicable in, in, in industry. So I all, in every lecture, I would be including all these stuff. Okay, some videos that in factories, what the CEOs think about, and how the managerial accountant thinks about, how they solve these kind of problems, the, the, you know, all those stuff. So why there is a need for managerial accounting information? So we know that financial accounting is just the, accounting information system, which provides you some information regarding business operation. How much is, how much are our assets, how much are our liabilities, how much are our equity. So financial, basically accounting information is made with a view for outsiders. And who are the outsiders? Those who use company statements for some different purposes. Investors, they want to invest in the company, so say they, say they see the profitability growth of the company through financial statements, right? And they invest in your company. Governments, they see your financial statement and think about that, okay, how much is the taxes, right? Taxes are on earnings, so if you earning, your earnings are like this much bracket, so you will be paying this with taxes. Creditors. They see your financial and they see that you are asking loan. Should we give you loan? Should we are, are we guaranteed to receive our money back? Right? If, we, if you see that for the past five years, you are having a loss. Maybe I give you $1 billion and your company is bankrupt. After that, you are not able to pay me, you know, the money back. So managerial accounting information is basically why there's a need because this information is specifically produced for insiders. And who are the insiders? Those who run the company. Who runs the company? Manager. Who owns the company? Shareholders. So these are specifically for them. In the annual general meeting, you show some kind of information to the shareholders, not for the public, but in day-to-day -day basis, you show some of your information to the managers, okay, where we see our growth, uh, how much is, if we introduce new product, how much money we will get, how much profit we will get, how much our sales gonna increase, how we can decrease our fixed costs, it's just like that. So this normally, this kind of information, we don't disclose to outsiders. Maybe someone else stealing our, our information or basing or stealing our business idea and implement somewhere else and become our competitor right so that's why 
managerial accounting information are specifically made for managers and what they do with this information they plan they forecast they make decisions right so basically financial accounting information is this is disclosing you for example profit and managerial accounting information is telling you how this profit is achieved how many units you sell what kind of sale cost mix strategy you applied to increase the profit which you generally don't show to the public right so let's just talk about this video to understand why the here to understand the need for managerial accounting information so let's just talk about that here we go let me play that of large organizations which began in the 19th century many of these organizations such as textile mills grew by combining multiple production processes under one roof managerial accounting allowed managers to compare the cost of a process inside the firm versus purchasing the process from another firm in the 1900s andrew carnegie founder of u.s steel devised a cost system that reported detailed unit cost figures for material and labor on a daily and weekly basis. The system gave senior management tight controls on operations, as well as timely information on marginal costs for pricing decisions. Other icons of American industry were also active in developing performance measures. As the nation's industrial base grew, managerial accounting continued to develop primarily influenced by taxes and financial accounting requirements. But things began changing dramatically in the last quarter of the century. Rapid advances in technology and global competition transformed organizations and prompted managers to question whether traditional management accounting procedures were still appropriate. In addition to applying and managing new technology, Corporations also had to place new emphasis on quality. In the 1970s and 80s, as reliable, reasonably priced Japanese products began to take significant market share from American manufacturers, it was clear that the consumer put a high priority on quality. American manufacturers were forced to make quality job one. They began to adopt Japanese management practices which ironically were introduced to Japan by an American, Walter Deming. Manufacturers, merchandise. So you get the idea how industri industrialization occurred and why there is a need. All right, guys, with the expansion of business, there are more pressure on the managers to make decisions. Decisions on what? Where we find the material? How are we gonna transform that material? And to whom we are, go we, we are going to sell? How many units we are going to sell? If we have a target profit, then how much we need to decrease the cost? How much, you know, there are thousands of products our company is offering, right? So this kind of stuff. Okay, so let's just talk about the chapter one, which is the managerial accounting and the business environment. So today we are going to sh you know, share some light on business environment. So, but you already know about that. This is more of the manage management stuff. We are going to define it and then we are going to relate it with the managerial accounting. And from the next class, we actually deep you know, dive deep into the managerial accounting concepts, right? And then we will be defining what kind of, you know, what are the cost and you know, how we think in terms of cost. Okay, here we go. So what is the strategy? Our strategy is a game plan that enables a company to attract customers by distinguishing itself from its competitors. Managerial accounting and business environment. So 
businesses are nowadays not competing on the basis of products they are competing based on strategy